the R72 method is <laughs> is game changing. Hi, I'm Chris James and you're watching Healthy Alternatives. So today we decided to change things up a little bit and I'm, I started a short series while we we're doing our R72 challenge and hopefully we'll be able to do this again when we do our 21 day challenge. But today we wanted to uh, bring on participants from the, the challenge to just talk about their experience uh, within the challenge, um, you know, we haven't, we've just got started with the fasting as of right now, uh, as, as a group, but I wanted to uh, bring Cynthia on and just allow her to share her experience so that you all can kind of follow along and, you know, get a little bit of the inside uh, scoop of what's going on in the challenge. So, Cynthia, welcome to AHA again. Yeah. <laughs> um, how are you doing? How are you feeling today? Feel great today. All right. Day one, technically. Day day one of the fast. Well, um, if you would if you would like to just speak about if you had something in particular in mind that you wanted to share, I don't even want to guide it. I just would like to hear from you what your experience has been like uh, in the challenge, and maybe what have you seen so far. Well, um, I see a lot of people signed up, which is wonderful because the R seventy two method is <laughs> is game changing it is it's a lot easier mentally um to carry through you know and i see a lot of people you know they're nervous they're excited and all the things and you know i tried to tell them you know just be consistent you know just give yourself some grace because as long as you're consistent you will lose the weight you really will but try to follow the the foods that you put in the guide um, because it it does make a difference as far as weight loss and everything like that. But I mean, there's so many benefits to it. Um, you know, you lose inches, you lose weight. Um, for me, my joints um, don't hurt. Um, it's just so many benefits of the R72 fasting. What were, what were, uh, well, first, is, is this your first time joining a challenge or have you you've been in multiple challenges? Um, let's see. This is, of course, my first R72 challenge. I did the 21 day water fast um, challenge. Um, I did not complete it because I did not. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, this is my second challenge with you all. Right. And so with the with the 21 day challenge, obviously, uh, it's 21 days of, of water fasting straight. Uh, mm -hmm. After we do the prep and everything like that, did you did you feel like coming into the R seventy two challenge, you know, that getting those incremental breaks was going to make it a lot more sustainable? Absolutely, because it's not far in between when you get to eat again, and so it's not panic never sets in, and I, I feel like it's more sustainable to do that. Yeah, um, as far as like the prep process goes. Did you find did, was there any part of it that maybe you felt a little bit more difficult or did you did you find it to be very seamless? Like, how did your prep go? My prep was good. Now, I did not drink a gallon of water each day like I should have. And like I told myself I would. But, yeah. you know, um, at least I did stick with the clean foods, uh, you know, the raw foods and things like that, because I knew what I was going to eat every day. Mm -hmm. And that helped. Um, and the days that we did the juicing. I love juicing, so that that was good, very good. And um, but the thing is, it's like you don't realize how important prep is until you do the prep, the way y'all preach on it. Mm. And I realize now that, like, I remember Stephen said, it's garbage weight, and it really is because he's like, imagine how much you could lose if you do the prep and then the fasting method. So it's I feel like it's almost vital now. I can't yeah. imagine not doing it now. That's what I like to hear. Listen, <laughs> I've been <laughs> I've been pushing the prep for yeah. years. Um, as a matter of fact, we we talked a little bit before uh, the camera started recording about a um, a situation um, a situation. I don't know the situation. Uh, something that something that happened. A good thing that was happening. Um, 
the, uh, with, with my brother, John and somebody that he had, uh, um, consulted with. And I don't know how I want to really talk about this yet. So I'm not going to give out the details, but y'all, yeah. if y'all watch the, the interview with John, um, uh, yeah, you gotta kind of watch the full interview. It's a, it's a pretty long interview, but it's in three parts. You'll understand what I'm talking about, who I'm talking about, but, um, they were talking about how the prep and the information I was given about the prep and the refeed was so vital for some people in their community. And I don't want to give out the whole story because I haven't really got a chance to get the full picture. That's why I want to tell the whole story, but it's good stuff. It's all good stuff. And so I have been, I've been doing my best to drill this into everyone's mind because usually when people have issues on their fast, it's because they didn't prep or they didn't refeed properly. So mm -hmm. I figure if we can get people to look at prep, fast, refeed as the fast and not, you know, segment them out and say, oh, sometimes I do the prep, sometimes I do the refeed. If you could do it all together, we can cut back tremendously on the negative interactions people have with fasting, which will ultimately just be better for everybody. Absolutely. Um, what is it that you would like to see happen with the R72 challenge? What are some of the goals that you've set for the challenge? Oh, personal goals? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I will lose a minimum of 35 pounds because I decided to go just a couple of days longer, like um, just so I can hit like a, I just want to do it 30 days. That's gotcha. just my personal preference. But um, I definitely am going to do that. And I don't really, I would like to lose about, Hmm. Let's say three to four inches off my waist. That's a personal goal. And um, the gallon of water each day. I'm determined to get that gallon in every single freaking day. <laughs> so, but I don't have anything extreme. Not, I mean, some people might think 35 pounds is extreme, but <laughs> if they actually do the prep and the the challenge itself, they'll know it's very possible. Mm-hmm. And that's the that's the beautiful part about it. It uh, you know, we don't do extreme weight loss over here. We do very efficient, <laughs> healthy weight loss. And I think that your goals are extremely achievable. Uh, I mean, obviously, you're pretty familiar with us fasting, what you're capable of. So you've already determined. And that's another beautiful thing about studying and understanding fasting, because you can say, OK, I want to do X, Y, Z and feel confident in that because, <clears throat> you know, we, we pretty much got it down to a science. Um, well, that's, I, I appreciate you taking the time to spend with us today. I just wanted to share a little bit with the, the greater community and hope in, in the hopes that, you know, it'll inspire people to want to, you know, maybe do some R72, learn more about it, or even join our yes. next challenge um, yes. or, you know, join our community. The, the challenge is being hosted on our private community. It's called ahacommunities.com. And you guys can join. There is a free membership on that community. So you could join and you can interact with people who are doing the challenge. And, you know, we we we're we are actively growing that community. And it's it's just it's all AHA family. So yeah. um thank you once again, Cynthia. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. And listen, we will we will be back. Who knows? Cynthia might be back again. She'd be popping up. So I don't know. We'll see. Well, let me say I need to come back um, in July because that'll be okay. like a year. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll hey, you know, <laughs> hey, we come on back. We got <laughs> we got some good stuff happening between now and July as well. So, um, yes, we look forward to seeing your update in July. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. And as always, the application of knowledge is power. And I'll see you all next time.